match nuts. Oh, Are they? Oh yeah. my god, this is so damn long. I'll message them to you less as well. So Aaron, you DMs. Thank you. Damn long. These are the girthiest. This is oh my god. Bungie, why are you dropping this now? We needed this shit dropped an hour ago. We need to drop yesterday. I think what we haven't actually gone over is ability, the solar subclass rework. So this is the this is gonna tie into what we're gonna be playing with today. Rework to fit the solar or the subclass 3.0 system in particular. Solar subclasses now use the aspect and fragment system used by stasis and void. Standardized, a set of buffs and debuffs aligned to the solar damage type used across your subclass weapons and armor. So these are our verbs, nouns, what the hell ever you want to call it. Cure, you're healed in a burst of mending solar light. Restoration, you continuously regenerate health and shields over time. Cannot be interrupted by taking damage. Radiant, your weapons are enhanced by the power of the traveler and deal increased damage to foes. Scorch, the target is singed by destructive solar light, taking damage over time. Scorch damage increases as the target accumulates more scorch stacks. And after 100 scorch stacks, scorch stacks are applied to the target, they will ignite and ignite a large damaging solar explosion in an area around the target. So y'all remember the snap? Okay, so when there was that snap, it would apply the five little solar balls. And obviously, is that reaches the 100 scorch stacks, or at least that's what it looked like. There may have been some stacks already on there, but it reaches those max stacks. And then that's whenever it does that ignite, which is that that huge explosion. Um, hovering over aspects, fragments, or abilities on the solar subclass screen now displays a tooltip flyout detailing any relevant status effect. That that is a new one. I don't think I've seen that. Maybe we have. But um, the thing about it is, it, it'll if even if you forget what the hell these things do, there's a readout that shows you what it does. Some old subclass perks have been deprecated, while others have been rolled into the base ability. Behavior fragments or aspects will have fluid behavior because of that. All classes now have access to all solar grenades. So starting with grenades, healing grenade, new. This is a completely new grenade. Releases a wave of benevolent solar light on impact with targets or the environment that cures allies and creates a blessing that grants restoration on pickup. Tracks to allies in its flight path. Look at that. It actually tracks. Oh, that's incredible. Solar Grenade now applies 20 Scorch Stacks to the target on the initial detonation and 14 Scorch Stacks per second to targets in the Linger Damage volume instead of a generic Solar Burn effect. Base cooldown increase from 105 seconds to 121. Alright, so things like Verity's Brow, um, Armatarium, Heart of Inmost Light, uh, what is, what is the Solar Gauntlet, Sun Bracers. The question that I have, does the burn overstack and cancel out the other burn if i was to throw two back-to-back -back scorch grenade or solar grenades onto a target will it be applying 14 stacks per grenade or will it just be one stack of 14 per burn you see where i'm coming from because we used to have that issue where the burn would would can it would just be one burn you, oh, the only increase in damage you got was the actual impact damage of the grenade so hopefully they fix that um trip my grenade now applies 40 scorch stacks to targets caught in the blast fireball grenades now applies 20 scorch stacks to targets hit by these secondary seekers fusion grenades now applies 40 scorch stacks targets caught in the blast interesting here because we know that fusion grenades for warlocks is going to explode twice so you'll be able to get 80 stacks right off the right off the bat incendiary grenades now apply 60 scorch, scorch stacks to targets caught in the blast rather than applying a generic solar burn effect so did they take away the burn for incendiary grenades 60s is a lot, though. Thermite grenades now applies 10 scorch, scorch stacks to targets hit by each wave. Swarm grenades now applies 5 scorch stacks to targets caught in each drone's detonation. Yeah, I don't know. I think that, that sounds like a nerf for incendiary grenades, right? All right, so starting with the Hunter Gunslinger, split Golden Gun into two separate variants, Deadshot and Marksman. Deadshot, which is the six-shot variant, now deals increased damage while Radiant. Now refunds a golden gun round when you cause a target to ignite while your super is active rather than on any kill. You actually have to cause the target to ignite again, leading to that that verb from above. Marksman, which is the three shot variant, now deals increased damage while radiant now over penetrates targets by default as they just essentially merge that from that subclass tree. Blade Barrage, increased consistency of tracking strength. Knives can now track targets more predictably at very close and very far ranges. 
increased PvE damage versus PvE combatants by 25%. Hopefully, this is enough to give Blade Barrage a fighting chance. We'll see, though. Um, knife Trick now applies 20 Scorch stacks per knife rather than a generic Solar Burn effect. I think that Knife Trick bombardiers you're gonna see a combination there if it's getting 20 scorch stack per knife and you're rolling out with your dodge getting your knife back you may you may see some hefty damage there uh with that combination uh lightweight knife new melee this is a oh no i, I skipped weighted knife hold on weighted and throwing knife now refunds your class ability on precision kill rather than itself now causes scorch targets to ignite on hit just on hit doesn't have to be a precision hit. Lightweight knife, new melee, a quick throwing knife option that deals moderate damage and causes you to become radiant when you land a precision hit. Oh, so again, leading up to this up here, your weapons are enhanced by the power of the traveler and deal increased damage to foes. So you'll be able to throw this 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 lightweight knife, which will immediately give you that uh, that that radiant effect if you land the precision hit, thus increasing your damage. I wonder what that buff is going to be. If it's actually the 20% buff. I mean, kind of crazy. Acrobat's Dodge. This is a new ability. Perform an acrobatic leap, driving a solar knife to the ground. On landing, you and nearby allies are made radiant. Okay, so that's that overhead slam. Deprecated the practice makes perfect subclass node perk. Rework knock him down subclass node perk. Now passively grants additional bonuses to your solar supers. Marksman Golden Gun has 15% additional damage resistance and 4 seconds increased duration. Okay. There's your damage resist right there. Deadshot Golden Gun has 4 seconds increased duration plus 33%. Blade Barrage now fires 5 additional knives per wave plus 70%. In addition, Radiant defeating targets with your equipped throwing knife refunds your melee energy. 15% additional damage resist. It's still the lowest, guys. It's still the lowest. You're still going to get shit on. Just not as badly. Night Stalker, Trapper's Ambush. Landing detonation now counts as a melee damage and will trigger perks like Echo Exchange and Melee Wellmaker. Stylish Executioner. After Stylish Execution, your weakening melee attack now also deals bonus damage to targets. Arc Strider, fix an issue where Tempest Strike would sometimes fail to travel through doors and low ceilings. Titan, Sunbreaker, Hammer of Soul now shatters into explosive secondary projectiles as default behavior. Burning Maul, increase the initial light attack lunge distance. After landing 10 light attack hits, now automatically spawns a heavy attack cyclone at the target's location. Okay, so just doing the light attacks will give you that, that cyclone. Hammer Strike no longer weakens targets. Now, wait, what? What? Now applies 40 Scorch stacks to the primary target hit by Hammer Strike and deals damage to targets behind them. If the primary target is killed by Hammer Strike, direct impact, they automatically ignite. Dude, this better be better. Because you just took away our only debuff. I mean, our only debuff. And it was a melting point has been with us since Destiny 1. Throwing Hammer now applies Cure. In addition to refunding the melee cost, when picked up if the Hammer Strike str struck a target. Okay, so that's again one of those verbs. Deprecated the Mortar Blast melee ability and the Explosive Power and Tempered Metal subclass node perks. Roaring Flames now activates from Solar Ability Kills and kills with Solar Ignitions. Okay, Solar Ignitions. Damage Scaler reduced to compensate for the expected increase uptime. Now 20% increased ability damage to combatants per stack down from 30%. So it did get a nerf. Melee damage bonus is reduced from Peregrine Grease, 1-2 Punch, Worm God Caress, or Synthoseps perks are also active. That kind of kills some of our builds right now, right? Now, 13% increased ability damage to players per stack down from 25%. So, no more running around or you'll have to work your way up um, with like one-shot nades and Ash and Wake. So, Invictus Sunspots are now created from Solar Ability Kills. Kills on Scorched Targets or Hammer of Soul Impacts. Sunspots now apply Scorch in addition to dealing damage to targets that pass through. Sunspots no longer provide an outgoing damage bonus, but now grant restoration when you pass through a sun sunspot you created. Grenade and melee regeneration bonus scaler granted by Soul Invictus, previously Sun Warrior, reduced from 3 to 1.5. In general, we want significant amounts of ability regeneration to come from build crafting rather than any single source, and the amount of bonus energy granted by Sun Warrior didn't meet our goals in the new system where additional build crafting elements are present, aka Sun Warrior just got f***ed. Sentinel. Offensive board. Increase the amount of time added to your Void Overshield's duration when you defeat a target with a melee attack. Now 6 seconds bonus duration, up from 2 seconds. Behemoth, Diamond Lance, fix an issue with Diamond Lance pickup interactable. 
would delete itself if an enemy player walked through it. Okay. Yeah, that's the Lordly nerf. That's why we didn't see a Lordly nerf. Yeah, anyone that was wanting Lordly to be nerfed, there it is. There it is. Warlock General added a small amount of airborne tolerance when casting a rift to reduce instances of cast sequence terminating early while on an uneven terrain. That's a good thing. It, it would happen often. Note this change was also previously applied to the Titan Barricade ability with the launch of the Witch Queen. Dawnblade Daybreak now sends out a streak of flames on impact as default behavior. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, well of Radiance no longer provides an overshield to players standing in the well. What? Now damage resist is increased versus damage from combined player abilities and special heavy weapon damage to partially offset the loss in raw HP. Okay, so you have more damage resist, but it says versus damage from combines player abilities and special and heavy weapon damage, but not primary, which means you should be able to get primary out of primary weapons out of your well. Okay, that is a hefty nerf for well. Celestial Fire, tracking effectiveness increase at longer range. Reduce damage of each individual projectile from 35 HP to 30. Damage scaling increase against PvE combats by 25%. I'm in, by the way. I'm about to check right now. Incinator Snap, new melee. When you say you're in, like you're in the game or you're in the queue. I'm on, I'm on a cutscene. Okay, Incinator Snap, new melee ability. Snap your fingers to create a short range fan of burning sparks which explode and scorch enemies. Phoenix Dive, new. Dive to the ground and create a burst of solar light that cures yourself and nearby allies. Deprecated the Guiding Flame and Igniting Touch melee abilities and the Divine Protection and Everlasting Fire subclass node perks. Heat Rises now also improves Phoenix Dive. While Heat Rises is active, you are granted restoration while diving and damage to the two and scorched enemies, scorch nearby enemies on landing. Okay, so it actually will apply scorch on the enemies when you land. Also, the plus 70 airborne effectiveness. Void Walker pocket singularity improved consistency at close ranges. Now also disables targets melee lunge for one second on hits. Stormcaller ball lightning projectiles now projectile now arms more quickly after passing over a target to resolve an issue where the downward detonation could overshoot targets behind cover. Um, all right, solar focus exotic armor updates. Lordly Splinter Helmet, the sunspot created by Lordly Splinter Helm. Now, when casting your barricade or while at critical health. Has improved restoration effects. So, considering they just neutered sunspots and the damage bonus and sun warrior, all that stuff, it should have improved restoration. Still not as good. The bombardiers now apply scorch to targets rather than a generic solar burn effect. That's huge. We just talked about bombardiers being potentially meta. Um, yeah, that and like your your um, your your fan blade knives. Yeah, Don Chorus now causes your day daybreak. Projectile supply scorch to impacted targets rather than just a generic solar burn effect. Now increases the damage your scorch effects deal. Phoenix Kratos, Cradle now applies the Soul Invictus buff and solar restoration to allies that passes through your sunspot. That's actually huge. You'll probably still get shot, shit on in Grandmasters. Young Hamkara Spine no longer grants ability energy from burning damage ticks. Let's let's go over airborne effects and stats. From the three sources weapon the weapon base airborne effect and again this is going to be a new stat starting today uh with ranges varying from 0 to 10 0 to 30 and depending on the weapon archetype exotic weapons typically get higher stat than legendary weapons in that archetype this is available to weapon perks starting with air assault and then you have your subclass abilities like heat rises tempered metal whisper of hedrons which also contributes to this exotic armor pieces also have innately their own airborne stat lion rampants giving you plus 100 only while hit firing but if you're rocking things like dmt well la stompies give you minus 50 this is obviously to slow hunters down and keep your booties on the ground peacekeepers plus 40 for smg celestial plus 100 only for firing the celestial nighthawk super shot that's so weird just for the celestial nighthawk super shot lucky pants plus 20 on hand cannons only grease plus 10 for, for i guess everything wings of sacred dawn plus 50 wings is actually going to be nuts that's going to be nuts. Nezrak Sin plus 20 with Void Weapons only. Uh, Necrotic Grips plus 20 with Weapons of Sorrow and similar weapons. Uh, so, yeah, things like Thorn. Uh, this means in general that if you want Airborne Effectiveness of 80 stat, you should pick up weapons with high stats, put an Icarus Grip on it, and either equip an exotic armor piece that helps or run a subclass aspect or fragment. And Bungie's trying to nudge us in the direction of builds, right? Um... And if you want, generally want the best airborne effectiveness, you need all three. A weapon with high stat, 
an exotic armor piece and a subclass to reach that like what that 80 stat threshold and plus snipers reduce stone ready and aim down sight sight, sight time by 10 percent so they're saying that snipers should feel snappier we'll see we'll see if snapshot is actually dethroned or not shotgun actually got a reduction in fall off damage Starting and end by one meter. Reduce aim assist and magnitude fall off start and end by two meters. Shotgun should be significantly nerfed. Fusion rifles also got a reduction there in its range. Two meters at zero range, 2.7 when ADS with the 15 zoom stats. Um, that's the fall off near distance, 1.3 meters at max range. Uh, reduce damage fall off far distance, one meter at zero range, 1.3 meters at 100 range. And also reduce the recoil scaler. So should ha it should have more recoil. They they did change things up. Reduce unmodified high impact charge time from one second to now 0.96. Uh, increase high impact damage per burst by 10. Increase unmodified precision charge time 0.74 to 0.78. So they nerfed precision, buffed high impact, but just slight. I mean these are these are very small changes. Uh, they also nerfed rapid fire, and they nerfed the damage. Auto rifle damage fall off near distance 0.75 meters. Uh, pulse rifles increase damage fall off near distance based on the range stat 15 to 16 meters. We talked about this the other week. Like, look, this is a buff for pulse rifles in general. Um, but right here is the big, the big key point. Um, damage fall off far distance remains 40 meters regardless of the range stat. So you're gonna be hitting that cap with so many different pulse rifles. So whenever you're actually building for that perfect pulse, you're not gonna wanna do max range on a lot of pulse rifles because you're just gonna be wasting stats. Some machine guns, oh, also lightweight pulse rifles got a buff. A lot of these we've already seen, like the nerfs here to Shiro's Wrath and Multimac. We've seen a lot of these already. Okay, guys, that's all we're gonna go over. This is a huge, huge, huge patch note. That just dropped today. A lot of this we've already covered in the TWAB. I just wanted to go over those things because it was not mentioned in the TWAB. Um, and and of course, you can see right here your different solar aspects. Knock them down on your mark. Gunpowder gamble for the hunter. We've already went over a couple of them. Roaring flame, soul invictus, consecration, warlock, Icarus dash, heat rises, and touch of flame. I'm gonna link this in the video that's going up. And if you guys want to look at this individually, you can. Uh, but again, a lot of this was already covered in the TWAB. We just wanted to go over the solar abilities. All right, let's play Destiny now. Slap that like button like your mama told you right.